Hey everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm bringing you another Inkscape tutorial. Now I haven't done this in a while, but lately I've been using a tool in this program that I think is pretty neat and really useful. So to demonstrate the tool, I have a scene here. I have a pond and I have a Pikachu. And what I want to happen is I want this Pikachu to jump into the pond. But when I drag the Pikachu over the pond, you can see that there's an annoying white box around him. And I don't like white boxes, they make no sense. So I want to get rid of it. Rid of it. Well, there's a, w a few ways to do that in Inkscape. First, as I've shown in a tutorial before, you can outline the Pikachu in, with a Bezier tool and then use the clip and set commands. Now that works, but it's a bit of time and uh, I don't want to do that. Now the second thing you could do is actually recreate this Pikachu from scratch and that's more work, even more work than tracing him, but it's doable because if you zoom in you can see that this is a vector-like image, uh, but what I mean by that is there's pretty simple curves and pretty simple colors that you could pretty easily recreate, but I don't want to do that, that's a lot of work. But good thing is there is actually a tool in this program that does that for you and that's what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is select my Pikachu, go to Path, and then Trace Bitmap. What this does is it turns any bitmap image into a vector representation. So because my Pikachu has colors, I'm going to leave colors selected here. I'm not even going to worry about this top part for now. That's uh, more advanced stuff. Um, and I'm going to select all three of these checkboxes down here. Notice that I'm removing the background. That's getting rid of all of the white, all of the unnecessary white in the image. And so the really crucial part of this is the scans. That's how many times the program goes over the Pikachu and selects the different colors. So if I select two scans and update this preview here, you can see that there's, pretty, there's just like a profile, a yellow profile. That's the dominant color and that's what uh, the program recognizes first. So, but I want a bit more detail than that, so I'm going to go up to like seven or eight I'm going to update it again, see what it looks like, and that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and press OK, and it takes a little bit of time. And the more complex your image is, the longer it'll take, but as I said, this is a pretty simple image. So it's done, and we can see what happened. Drag this guy over and check it out. Our annoying white box is gone, so you can forget about that. And here's our, here's our vector Pikachu. So to see what really happened in here, we can zoom in on a part and you see there's all these layers of different colors that are stacked on top of each other. And that's what the scans did. They scanned the image and every time they selected a more and more precise color and then put them on top of each other. So right now you can't really separate the different layers, but if we wanted to do that, say if we wanted to move this guy's chin around, what we want to do is press ungroup and now we can access the different layers. So we can drag um, this guy's dark yellow layer, for example, over here, and we can mess with that. If for some reason we wanted to make it green, we could do that. Now our Pikachu has a green highlight. But what's really cool is we can actually move, we can actually alter this image pretty simply. So we're, we're gonna select everything, and to move this little chin, we're gonna press the nodes tool, just like that, and you see all of the nodes are being selected that are created earlier in this process. We're going to select this chin, we're going to just move it, just like that. There we go. We can put it on his paw, I don't know, just because. Now he has no chin, and he has a chin on his paw. Um, but yeah, that's it's really good for uh, any kind of creative work that you want to do with an image without having to go in a bitmap editing tool and messing around with it. So for simple images like this, you can do a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and complete our scene here. Do what we set out to do. I'm gonna shrink this guy down just like that and put him on the edge of the pond. There we go. He's about to jump in. Sweet. I'm happy with that. So that's about it. Well, actually, one more thing. You'll notice here that his eyes have been cut out. Uh, there's, they're just transparent, and that's a side effect of the uh, removal of background. You know, you got rid of all of the white, but that's pretty easily fixable. What we, what we can do for that is just select this guy, 
bring over, over here and use our handy dandy uh, smart fill tool. We're just going to do that, press the eyes, and we can select both of them and make them white, and voila, you have white eyes. So, see what happened? You can drag him back on here, and there you go. His eyes are no longer transparent. His pupils, I should say. Well, these aren't his pupils, they're whatever. Anyway, <laughs> you get the point. Um, here's our Pikachu on our pond. So that was the bitmap, uh, bitmap trace tool. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. And uh, on a side note, we recently reached 2 million views on YouTube, which I'm super excited about. I just want to give a big shout out to the Hedgemond and Eat Sleep Play game who helped, uh, who made this happen, pretty much. Um, so, awesome. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.